like out of the box that would have Mark. <laughs> yeah, they have these older Asian men, and you know they they sit you down in this little chair, and they start rubbing your neck and your back, but then they get raided by the police. And they run away with a chair on their back. <laughs> the problem is, I'm still in the chair. <laughs> I said, sir, please put me down. He says, not until I reach a home. I said, where is that? He says, North Korea. <laughs> now, uh, now, I see that we have some uh, kids here tonight that are very well behaved. Thank you. I uh, do a lot of uh, Indian events, Malayali events, where children are running around and screaming and... You know, nobody can understand, and I say, hey, why do you bring your children to these adult events? And they say, well, you know, we are very family orientated. <laughs> I think the truth is they just don't want to pay for a babysitter. <laughs> but children can be brutally honest. I had a kid come up to me after a show, and he had a paper and a pen, and, you know, I could tell he wanted my autograph, and he comes up, he goes, are you famous? <laughs> And I was going to lie to him, but I said, no, not really. And he goes, okay, thank you. And he walks away. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I do uh, Indian events all over. I, 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 my favorite are the Malayali events. I did a show for 4,000 Malayalis in Orlando. Now, when you don't speak Malayalam, 4,000 Malayalis sounds like 4,000 people gargling. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, during the day I was on a panel of Malayalis who've done unusual jobs. So I was uh, in the middle and on my right was Anand John, the famous fashion designer. And then on my left was an uncle who was a dean at a local college or something like he really went out on a limb with his career, right? And they asked us what kind of challenges we face in our unusual jobs. And I said, well, for me, it's uh, doing more shows. Anand John said something about finding more, more models. And the uncle said, and I'm not making this up, the uncle actually goes, well, you know, when you first come to America, you see a lot of black people and you're afraid. <laughs> he really said that. <laughs> And I thought that was highly ironic because being Malayali. <laughs> it was darker than any black man I've ever met. I mean, I've seen albino Malayalis that are darker than any black man I've ever met. I mean, when we take pictures with my father, we have to use flash Make in bright sunlight. <laughs> Our camera has three settings for flash, day, night, Malayali. <laughs> now, I, I had some time on uh, one of my India tours to head over to, uh, to uh, Kerala, uh, the land of my roots, or half of my roots. And uh, I got to visit uh, Kovalam and Tiruvananthapuram, which used to be called Trivandrum, but they wanted to make the name easier. Uh, and I had my favorite meal in uh, Kerala, which is uh, KFC. <laughs> Kerala fish curry. But a lot of people say that uh, Kerala is the most beautiful part of India. Uh, I notice it's people in Kerala who say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so now again, I live in New York and uh, you know, people, I, I don't know, people always say like, they, they always ask me, you know, you know, your dad is from India, your mom is from Japan. Uh, that makes you half Asian, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's American Half Asian. for you, right? Where do they think India is? Antarctica? 20% of American school children cannot find Earth. Oh, really? <laughs> on a map of Earth. But I'll tell you, I'm just glad my parents gave me an easy to pronounce name like Dan Nainan. Instead of some weird combination Indian Japanese name like Sanjay Hajimoto. Or Mahatma Mitsubishi. <laughs> or Marathi Suzuki. <laughs> but, and people always say, your dad's from India, your mom is from Japan. Where do they possibly meet? Indiana, <laughs> duh. <laughs> yeah, they met in the middle, middle of America, uh, Bloomington, Indiana. My father was getting his PhD in nuclear physics. My mother was getting her bachelor's in early childhood development. Uh, obviously, she must have failed with me. Really? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, 
So, um, but I'll tell you, my dad, you know, again, despite being, despite being a PhD in nuclear physics, knows nothing about how to use a computer. <laughs> and if you're a computer person, never get your parents a computer, because guess who's going to be 24-hour tech support? <laughs> you guessed it. And I mean, for years, my parents' answering machine, this, is, this was the outgoing message on my parents' answering machine for years. Why is it like blinking? <laughs> Why is it at like big boo? Boo shit. <laughs> my dad will call me no matter you know what I'm doing. Dan, I have to need help with computer. And I said, Well, I'm going on stage for President Obama. Well, I don't care. I need help. What, what, what button do I push? Uh, <laughs> the enter key. Where is enter key? Enter key. <laughs> I'd always tell my father, you know, please back up your data. You have to back up your data. And he said, I don't have any data. <laughs> and he's always trying to tell me, you know, forget about this technology, forget about this 3G and this 4G and worry more about Uncle G and Auntie G. <laughs> you know, parents and technology, it's, it's impossible, you know, but uh, yeah, so I live in New York and, and in New York everyone has their own group to hang out with. You know, you have the Irish Day Parade and the Puerto Rican Day Parade, but there will never be an Indian Japanese parade. <laughs> because in my whole life, I've only met one other person that has the same mix as me. It's my sister. <laughs> and after every show, some Indian will come up and say, Oh, my best friend married Japanese lady and, you know, they have children. And I say, well, please uh, tell them to come, you know, to our Facebook group for Indian Japanese people. Uh, because we're trying to get from five to six. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and you know, Indians have been very successful in America, but Indians complain about racism. I, I did a show for 6,000 Pakistanis in Orlando, again, the Apna, for the doctors and their families. And I just had one of the best shows I've ever had. In fact, that's where I met uh, these folks uh, from uh, Events Unlimited. And, and I'm selling my CDs and DVDs after and handing out my cards. And this auntie comes up, furious, she's like, they're, you know, there are Indian people here too. <laughs> but these are the same jokes I do for Indian people. It's really bizarre. And, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. But uh, the Indians always complain about, you know, they're so sensitive about racism. But Indian can be some of the most racist people in the world. I mean, my uncle actually tells me, if my daughter marries someone who is not from Kerala, I will commit suicide. <laughs> Then I will kill my daughter. <laughs> Great. You know, and they, they live in a small town in Texas. You know, I mean, who's he waiting for? Amarillo Slim Chakra Party? I mean, I asked him, you know, why? Why, why, why must your daughter marry someone from Kerala, despite the fact that we live in America? It's like, you know, because, you know, the the white people, they always ask the same question, you know, how long have you been in America, how do you like it, you know, and uh, I, don't, I don't know, so my cousin is uh, dating a white guy without telling her father, um, <laughs> my, my uncle, you know, it's so weird, because do you, do you have uncles and aunties that do this, when you're driving with him in the car, he cannot keep constant pressure on the accelerator, it's like, does <laughs> this happen to you? And, and then, you know, you cannot suggest a different route, right? They, they always want you to go a certain way or they'll get furious, right? Now, you have to go this way. But, but why? This is this the Google Maps, you know? It's, no, I don't want Google Maps. I know how to get there. Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> yeah, but, um, so, uh, yeah, so now, now, Indians, especially Malayalis, will reverse the subject and the verb. So, They'll ask you questions like, what you are doing? What you are doing? <laughs> Why you are doing what you are doing? <laughs> what you are doing? Here's my impression of my uncle waking up in the morning. My uncle waking up in the morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. <laughs> I don't need to shower today. I've got a beautiful feeling. <laughs> Everything going my way is. is. And have, have you ever called uh, technical support at America Online or Dell? 
if you have, you know that they have these teams of Indians who are trying to pretend they're Americans, right? I called up Dell the other day, and this man answers, Thank you for calling technical support. My name is Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> What your problem is? <laughs> I mean, I think it's just a matter of time before Indian companies start outsourcing to poor Americans who are trying to pretend that they're Indian. <laughs>